a psychopath. Do you tell everybody how psycho you're being? Why don't you tell everybody, Loose Loose? This is Lucy, it's my bearded dragon. She just woke up from brumation. It's kind of like when bears hibernate. She was uh, asleep for like three or four months and now she thinks that she deserves to be out of her cage every second of every day. So I'm gonna put her down. I'm gonna let her run around in here while we're filming. Please do not shit on this carpet. Bearded dragon shit is like literally the worst. If you have one, you know. Okay, you guys are really close. Like, could you at least take me out to dinner first? Jeez Louise. Now my phone alarm is going off, hang on. My parents the other day heard this and they're like, oh, that's a great beat, what is that? I'm like, it's Metallica, hello. Let's try that again. Okay, so we're both here. <laughs> we're both here because we want to have nice, long, beautiful, luxurious lashes without spending all of the time in a lash chair um, getting our lash extensions done or the money on that, right? Um, I was getting my hair done and um, both the stylists there had these like gorgeous lashes and I was like staring at our lashes, like trying not to be weird, but like see if I could see like a band. Cause like, if so, I wanted to know like what fake lashes they were. And then I just was like, where do you get your lashes done? Like, I can't even see a band, I can't see anything. Like, and I was looking up close too, like Lucy's gonna be making a little bit of noise. So anyway, she's like, um, I do them myself. And I'm like, um, what do you mean you do them yourself? They look amazing. <laughs> and they, both styles were like, yeah. So we use Lashify and I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on. What the hell is Lashify? And they show me and I'm like looking it up on my phone and these are lashes that supposedly last like a week or so and kind of come off on their own unless you want to take them off sooner. And they come in these like little clusters and you put the glue on here and you just kind of swipe them on under, under right there. And so I was just like, Okay, that looks, those look so good. So Lashify was kind enough to send me a box, which I'm super grateful for because I'm really excited to try this out because I love having lash extensions. However, they, like it would be nice if they did come off in seven days sometimes, like as long as you don't have to sit in the chair for two and a half hours um, because it's nice to have a break in between, but I just love that you could just do this at home, like sitting in a chair to get your lashes done, your nails done, and all the different things that we sit in a chair to get done as, as women, or if you're a man that gets all that stuff done too, you know, <laughs> it just takes a lot of time and a lot of money. So not only are you paying a lot of money for a service, but you're also paying the time that you're sitting in the chair. Um, the other day I tried to film this and um, I realized that you couldn't have any makeup on. So um, I actually read the directions for once, you guys, after I put the makeup on, so that wasn't super useful. Well, I guess I'll just use a regular mascara since I don't know how to read frickin' directions and I'm not supposed to have any makeup on. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. So, comes in this box and I got these and I'll share with you which ones I got here. So this is kind of what they look like. They're kind of like on in, in these little things. And so I got D12, D16 and D14. I got some instructions, which I'm going to need. Oh my gosh, my back has been killing me. <sighs> um, and so this is nice because it gives you like a quick, easy pictorial on exactly what the F you're gonna be doing so you can't mess it up. You get this, right? Oh, I have even more lashes in there. What the? I didn't even know those were in there. They have a bunch of videos. They've got like an app supposedly too that will help you like figure it out and whatever. So yeah, I want to try these out and then like touch base with you guys on like maybe Instagram stories or something about, or maybe I'll put it in this video, depending on when I want to put this out and see like how this is working out for me and see what we think. I mean, her lashes look freaking great and they were both raving about it. So, okay. All right, <clears throat> my, my, I just took a shower. My, so you're supposed to start with clean lashes, mine are clean. I'm, so they have cleaner that they didn't send me, um, which is kind of weird if you want this to work out well for me. Cause my cleaner is like, has oil in it, but I'll have to get that. So they have pro, uh, pro they have cleanser and then you're gonna apply the whisper light flexible bond I have two different things here. Let's see what it is. This is the glass. This goes on after I think and then this is Whisper light flexible bond. Why is there two sides? Okay, so that one's like a little lats like that this side is a brush Okay, I am actually missing something here 
You're supposed to apply these with, they call them wandums, like a little like plastic condom for this basically. I'm assuming so glue doesn't get all over this, but I don't have those here. So they weren't included. Um, I'm gonna have to DM them real quick to see if that's something that I need. According to this, it is, but according to this, you also need to use their pre-cleanse and I wasn't given that either. So I think we're maybe okay. Every fucking day I sit down to film this goddamn video. Uh. Okay, so there's a few things I don't have actually, but apparently you don't need it. I don't know, I don't have the wandums for this, so we're just gonna go for it without it. Ugh, I had like a notice pop up on my camera. Um, so I feel like it would be better with them, but I don't have that, and I also don't have the little like blow thing. I don't know if you've been to their Instagram, but they have got this thing where um, you like can dry it a little bit. So let's see. Um, it doesn't say whether you gotta work one eye by one eye, but it says to take the Whisper Light Flexible Bond. I'm gonna actually curl my lashes first real quick. It doesn't say that, but I feel like that's probably a good place to start. If these work well and I can wear these for vacation, I'll be so freaking excited. And if you want extra glue or extra bond, it says, you can use this side and apply it directly to the lash um, spine. I'm not really too sure if I am supposed to do the whole lash or just towards the bottom. I don't really know. Um, it says that you don't wanna apply too much. So if you're gonna apply another coat, you should wait till this one dries. Um, okay. I'm just gonna do the whole lash here. Okay. It feels like it's on there. I am taking the B12s, which are the smaller ones. You're supposed to just take this, stick it on there like so. It feels like it's not going to stay on there, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the bigger ones, which are the B14s. And you basically pull this by the base. You gotta make this crazy eyes so you can see where your lashes start and stop. Oh, man down. Okay, maybe the glue's dry because that's falling off. Yeah, I'm gonna try, put a little bit more on there. I'm like so nervous. Why am I so nervous? I don't know, because I'm putting glue and lashes on myself. I'm having trouble getting to these with this. If it was, yeah, let's see. Okay, how do those look? I feel like I need another one right here, but I don't wanna over, I don't wanna like overlap them, you know? Next, once your look is complete, finish with an application of glass waterproof lash extender. Apply glass on the underside of the lashes, focusing at the root to seal and remove any stickiness. I'm like so afraid I'm gonna get one of these chemicals in my eyeball. Okay, and that side's done, I guess. Like, is it that freaking easy? I literally made myself two cocktails last night and they weren't very big and I have a pounding headache. I'm such a lightweight. Okay, I'm not mad about it. It's probably a good thing. Let's do the other side. I think what I'm gonna do is just put glue on half of it and see how we do because the other side like dried up pretty quick there. Um, and then after this, I will show you guys what we got going on. This is like the most genius shit I've ever seen. It kind of grabs it when you put it on there. So like as long as you're not like trying to like pull up too hard when you're setting it, like if you're like lightly just kind of brushing it on there, it kind of grabs it. Okay. I think I did more of the small ones on this side. This is driving me crazy. This is my extensions. Like, oh my gosh, go away. Go away, you're embarrassing me. I'm doing one of the larger ones. I think that's the only, like the last one I can fit. My eyes like are not. Yeah, that's all I can do there. Okay, let me try sealing the... Ow! Fuck! Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Ow, I just stabbed myself in the eye trying to get this like in here. Okay, I don't actually like that. Like, I don't know how to get that. Maybe that's why I need the wandum. Damn it, Gina. 
I'm just gonna squeeze this on here because I, I don't know, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to stick this in here, like, ow, fuck. Okay, I know I'm not using this right, but the other way is not working. Like, how do you get this in there? Okay, I've pinched myself like a thousand times. I'm gonna have to watch this shit in the video because that, ow! Okay, I look freaking beautimous. These are cool. There's definitely a learning curve. Obviously, I'm a newbie at this, um, so my stylist's lashes looked a lot better than mine do, most likely. I haven't really taken a look at this up close. And just to give you guys an idea of what I used of this, and I don't know if these are reusable. I'm gonna guess they don't advocate for that because they want you to buy more lashes, but um, that's what I used of them, so it's kind of hard to tell. But I would say there's like, three more applications in here based on what I just did. So the underneath looks like total garbage because I don't know what I'm, oh my gosh, oh my god. <gasps> it's not supposed to look like that. This one's like, this, this first one is like, or no, the second one is like, can you see it? It's like literally like on my um, water line up there or whatever, my tight line. It's like crooked. But I mean, overall, like if I could get my, um, actually, you know what might be better is if you did this when you put it on there, because then you'd be able to see, I feel like I couldn't see if it was straight or not, but I'm a newbie at this. Let me zoom you in. This is what they look like from all the different angles. Um, I don't know if you can see when I'm looking down, like I kind of did not put them on very straight but I feel like if you got really good at this, they would actually look really fantastic. Like I said, the stylists at the salon I go to, like the, this looked really good on them. So I'll show you what I'm talking about though. As you can see, it should be the thumbnail. What do you think? <laughs> As you can see, this one over here is all crooked and then the last one over here is not the best and I should have placed this one further in so I could have gotten another one down there, um, but this is a really cool concept. I think this looks good, good from far, far from good. And I think the only reason it doesn't, it looks a little less than fantastic is because my skill level is not quite there yet. <laughs> but this is a very interesting um, system and I'm intrigued and I want to play more. I have all of these other ones that I'm excited to try, these are even like way more dramatic than what I have on, but I think it's good that we went with something a little less dramatic because I think it's gonna take some time for me to get a little bit better at, um, you know, applying these. It basically says that you can keep your, they call them gossamer lashes, so you can keep these looking best by avoiding oils and hot steam and S-Y-O-F, sleeping on your face. So uh, I think that um, I'm gonna see how this goes. Good morning. Uh, so I wanted to do a little check-in with you guys. This morning I still had um, a handful of lashes left and I felt like I woke up with like half a filter on. I was like, oh, this is nice. Like you immediately feel more feminine put together when your lashes look good. Um, kind of the same thing with eyebrows. Uh, I'll never win in that department, but <laughs> um, the lashes, so I, lost a couple over here at night when I was sleeping. So I don't know if it's me not putting enough glue on or just the placement wasn't great because I kind of need to learn how to put them on better. Um, but I also took a shower and I always wash my face in the shower in the morning and somehow like, not somehow, I fucking put my face under the water because I was gonna wash it and then I felt the lashes just start coming off. So, and last night when I washed my face, um, after I had all my makeup on, I actually, um, took a washcloth and just did around and wiped around without splashing water on my face. So I'm wondering if they're just not water resistant either. Um, cause I hadn't even put soap on my face this morning and they kind of just came off. So again, I don't know if I just like, my hands are so cold. <sighs> Um, I don't know if I just am not using enough glue or what the deal is. So I'm going to try them again today and see if I can't um, maybe put some glue not only on my lash, but on the actual spine of the lash itself and then put it on and see. 
I mean, even if this was an alternative to false lashes on top, I'd even like that better because I don't know, they just, they look more natural. You don't have to worry about the band showing on top. So um, yeah, I kind of like them even if they only last for a day, but I am going to try again today and see what happens. I just wanted to give you that update. Okay, so I tried these again. Um, I have to say the side is longer because I put a longer one right here than I did over here without even realizing it. Like you have to pay attention what you're putting on either side. Um, I did have trouble sleeping last night trying not to like touch these on anything because I do sleep on my side. So I tried to like do this, but this just kept kind of touching. But so far I didn't like inspect these closely but none of them look like they're peeling off. So that's a good thing. Um, and I freaking woke up feeling like I had a filter on my face. So that's great. Um, so if these actually last for a few days, I think that these would be worth it for me. Um, I also, like if these were really inexpensive, um, I think they would be great to just replace your false lashes with these every day that you do your makeup because it's so much better. I did a really simple, easy makeup look um, yesterday. I'll put a picture on cam on uh, screen. And um, I didn't have to worry about the band showing at all. Hi, Leo, I'll throw your ball, okay? Oops, that's, whoops, sorry about, sorry about that, bud. <laughs> um, I didn't have to worry about the band showing at all. It was just underneath and I could wear no eyeshadow and just look super natural. So that was one really great thing about it. I'm loving the birds right here. Like I'm watching all these beautiful like cardinals and blue jays and stuff like eat the seeds. It's so cool. Um, so overall, as of now, I'm really liking these. I think that they are awesome. Um, I definitely need to get better at putting them on. That wand that it comes with does not work for me. I continuously poke myself in the eye. I actually have some tweezers that I like a lot better that are from Tarte and they're like just slightly curved. The one that Lashify made, maybe it will work for me once I like try it for a while and like get it down. But as of right now, I just keep poking myself in the eye. It's too curved to like get in here without poking myself. So I prefer to just kind of stick the Tarte one in there that's slightly slanted and squeeze it on there. Um, I do find that I need to glue just half the eye, eyelash and then work and then glue the other and work because it's just drying out too fast and not sticking for me. Um, but overall, yeah, I really like this. I think that this is an awesome creation and I don't know why I haven't tried these sooner. All right, you guys, so let me know what you guys think of these. Have you ever heard of these? Have you used them? Like, what's your experience? Like, give us all of the information down below. I'd love to hear how your experience was with these. And I'm excited to see how these, how these work when I'm putting makeup on. When I'm, I'm worried that they're just gonna fall off, but I guess if I leave this in here, um, it could, work out pretty good. I have a really good eye mask actually that I'll link you guys to below. If you like pitch black when you sleep like I do and you have lashes, you can actually use this eye mask because it has like a little cutout right here. And I kid you not, you will never see a stream of light ever again unless you want to with that thing. It is awesome. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about these in the comments and how they've worked for you in the past. And also let us know what your favorite gossamer, um, I don't know what they call that, like little cluster is because I'm excited to try more of these. This was very easy. It just, um, I just, it's gonna take a little bit of um, skill and practice, I think. But uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.